Hey guys, I am out and the fall colors are in full bloom. And today I am answering a challenge from a fellow photographer, Garrick Gillette. Hey Rachel, for this week's video, what do you say we stop shooting at F9, F11, up in that range, and let's go all the way down to F2.8 or something low. Let's, uh, let's shoot somewhat wide open. Let's shoot some wide open vistas. What do you think? You in? I'm in. Let's do this. They've really done it to me this time, Garrick. <laughs> I love your challenge, wide open landscapes, but may I admit that it's gonna be a challenge. So I've come down to Webster's Falls and it is gorgeous. The fall colors are out. It's just beautiful. 2.8, huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're on. Webster's Falls is it's in full flow it is just pouring over the top and uh, it wow well, it, it's gorgeous but I don't know there is there is a lot of foreground so there used to be a path down to the bottom and there is no longer I'm gonna head back over there I just walked over here so that you could hear me it's just it's flowing that much and uh, yeah, let's get a picture. Okay. All right. So as I get there, I have on my 16 to 35 lens because if I'm going to be shooting wide open at f2.8, it's probably going to, and it's a vista. I need the widest lens possible. So I'm shooting at the fence and in the foreground of the waterfall, I'm actually going for the waterfall to be a little bit uh, not perfectly in focus because I've got the foreground, which is a tree, 
with beautiful orange leaves that just sort of seems to frame the image while still being in the image. And uh, the water is moving in the background. And I don't know, it's just something about it that I really, really like. So I've got F2.8. I'm focused on the closest part of the tree. And the nice thing about using wide open is that shutter speed is fast enough, I think, to freeze the action of the uh, breeze in the trees. It is actually quite breezy today. I've also lowered my exposure value of quite a bit, uh, a whole stop in a bit because waterfalls tend to be very, very bright when the sun is hitting them. So I don't want the waterfall to be completely blown out. We'll see. I'm going to pause this video here to bring you a word from this sponsor, me. Thank you. <laughs> I found out yesterday that I was YouTube's featured creator on the rise. I am completely blown away and it's all because of you. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I was so excited. I put it out on Facebook just saying like, ah, so cool. Okay. so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. And okay, now back to the challenge. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the main viewing area, which is a very typical place to get an image of this falls ever since they shut the stairs that used to lead to the bottom broke my heart. It's such a beautiful fall and the stairs were awesome. You would go down and you'd be right there and it was just, oh, it was amazing. But I guess there have been some accidents and so on and so we no longer have that option. Okay. So I was standing there and I was taking a beautiful time-lapse photo and I thought, oh, I know, I'm gonna put on my three-stop neutral density filter. And I carefully put it on to the front of the camera. Oh, I heard, I, I put it on and I turned to get something else and I heard this crash. <laughs> the filter fell off the front of the camera. Always make sure that you have properly affixed the filter holder to the front of your lens. $250. Garrick, your challenge cost me $250. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, oh well, I guess I'm going to need a new filter. <sighs> All right, so I finished taking those images. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell sometimes in camera if I'm happy with the focus, the, the depth of field on those images. I tried focusing on the plants in the foreground. I tried focusing on the waterfall in the background. We'll see. This is actually quite a tough, quite a tough challenge, Garrick, because uh, landscapes, most of us want to have uh, everything sharp from front to back, unless we're doing something where we really want to highlight, say, a foreground or uh, a, a particular subject. But you've also said wide open landscapes, and I don't have like a big view where everything is all in the distance, so the 2.8 is a bit of a challenge. But I like it because it's actually 
helping me or it's prompting me to focus focus more on my focus and to check my focus and not to be as lax about <laughs> um, just assuming that oh yeah that's in focus that's that's what I always do and this time I have to slow down and I have to take a look and I have to make sure that what everything I want to be in focus is so So now just a really simple shot. The beautiful path down here is just, it's lit by the very dappled sunlight because it's coming through the trees and I am focusing <laughs> just kind of in the middle. I'm also focusing on one of the closest branches because sometimes I find that that really drives me crazy when I have a great shot and it's the closest branch that's out of focus. Next. I'm going to try <laughs> one of the more classic working with a low depth of field thing. I'm going to have a leaf on the ground. I'm going to focus on it and then just have the beautiful uh, soft leading into the distance background. That's my attempt. <laughs> I'm going to angle down towards the leaf. I've switched to my long lens and that's because I like what it does to a scene in terms of compressing it. The trees look closer together, the leaves look like they're layered on top of each other. Uh, it's, it's difficult because I'm not really finding huge open vistas here, but 
if I use my long lens, I can kind of get actually more into the scene, if that makes any sense, more in terms of more subjects into one area. Anyway, so this long lens will not give me 2.8. This is a 4.5 lens and uh, it's cool. I'm going to focus just on the pathway in the foreground, ISO 200, 1 250th of a second. We do have a breeze. It's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> In the coming months, early next year, maybe a little later next year, there is the possibility that I will be crossing the pond, the Atlantic Ocean, to head over and run a workshop on the other side. So <laughs> uh, I'm really hoping this will work out because it's gonna be amazing and I'll be able to meet a whole bunch of you. So Rachel asked me to uh, say a couple things about myself and or my channel and uh, well let's see we'll start with myself. I am addicted to sugar. I've got a major issue and I'm addicted to photography. Major issue. And I'm addicted to having fun. So if you like photography and you love having fun stop by my channel sometime give it a look give her a thumbs up and if you're uh, really into it hit the old subscribe button i'd love to have you on board so truth be told i am doing this whole vlogging thing it's really pretty much rachel's fault that i'm doing this so you can blame her uh started watching a bunch of uh different photography videos and i saw this uh, rachel lurch doing it and it's like man she makes this look pretty easy so I'm thinking, well, I could probably do that. And let me tell you, it's not easy. Rachel just makes it look that way. But now I'm hooked on uh, doing the whole vlogging thing and uh, it's totally her fault. So you can blame her for all the uh, goofiness I put out there on the YouTube. Thank you, Garrick, for an awesome challenge. It was so good. I had to really think about what I was doing and it was really challenging. Guys, if you haven't seen Garrick's channel, he is really fun. This is the part where Rachel puts up a link to my channel. Don't be lazy, go check it out. He is an excellent photographer. He has his own unique style and he does a lot of beautiful nature work and I highly recommend you check him out. So this is the part of the video where Rachel does some awesome editing and makes me look just like Brad Pitt. Is Brad Pitt still a thing? I don't know. Also, uh, just so you know, I am starting an email list for anyone who would like to keep in touch with me. In these emails, which will probably be pretty infrequent, uh, I will be giving you kind of a heads up when there are new workshops or new uh, items on Lurch Merch where you can support my channel, like my hat. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to be a great way. You can respond to the emails. We can talk that way. If you'd like to join my email list, go to my Facebook page, which is Rachel Lurch Photography. All one word. That's my Facebook page. So facebook.com slash Rachel Lurch Photography and you will see on the left a link for email sign up or you can head to my website. My website is sort of under construction at the moment because I want to be able to add some new and fun things and yeah so that's it. Beautiful day. Thanks for the challenge Garrick. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.